Hey guys, I'm Justice. Have you ever gotten so messy that you needed a garden hose to clean off? Sometimes it's fun just going out and playing football in the mud or maybe even jumping from puddle to puddle in some heavy rain. But imagine instead of getting cleaned up right away, you just went about your day normally. You go to school, church, or maybe even a friend's house, just all covered in dirt. That's kind of what the disciples went through every day. Jesus' disciples, his closest friends, walked from city to city on dusty roads in the hot sun. So they got a bit messy, but their feet were messier than anything else. And they didn't have fancy shoes like these. They had these. To show you what they might have gone through, I'm gonna get a bit messy. Ugh, it's in between my toes. Ugh. Jesus' disciples had to deal with this all the time. But did you know that we deal with this kind of thing too? We may not have super gross feet, but some of us are carrying a mess with us. The mess of sin. Sin is when we go our way over God's way and it separates us from him. It makes our spirits dirty and messed up, a lot like the disciples' feet and mine. In our story though, the disciples' feet didn't stay dirty. Jesus cleaned them. He went from one person to the other, personally cleaning and caring for his friends. The Bible says this about Jesus in Mark 10, 45. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. I love that verse because it shows me that Jesus cares for us so much that he was willing to step into our lives and fix our mess. But when Jesus knelt down to clean Peter's feet, something happened. Peter said no. His first response was to refuse Jesus' help. Are you like Peter? Jesus is willing to save you from your mess, from your sin. He wants you to have a real relationship with him. In fact, he's already done all the work. The price has been paid for us to be free from sin forever. It's like Jesus is kneeling down, ready to clean your nasty mess, and he's patiently waiting for your response. Are you gonna say no? You might say, I'm sorry, Jesus, but I'm too messed up. I've done too much bad stuff for you to forgive me. Or maybe even, you know what, Jesus? I've got this covered. I can clean my own mess without you. If you've ever thought something like that, I want to tell you that those things aren't true. Even though we didn't deserve it, Jesus still paid the price for our sin. We can't get rid of sin on our own. We need him. Jesus is the creator of the universe. He's more powerful than anything that can stand between us and God. Say yes to Jesus and give your life to him. When we tell Jesus we've sinned and ask him to save us, the Bible says that he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Our mess gets cleaned. The same night that Jesus washed his disciples' feet, he told them this in John 13, 34 through 35. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you. By this, all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. In this verse, Jesus is talking to his disciples and he's also talking to us. When we let Jesus save us and choose to follow him, we become his disciples too. We are to love others just like Jesus loves us. But how do we do that? After this, I would encourage you to talk to your parents or small group leaders about how you can love others like Jesus did. But keep this in mind. If you wanna love like Jesus loved, just look again at what he did. He stepped into our world got into our situation and was willing to lay his life down for us to be free. Is there someone that you know who isn't free? Maybe they're carrying a burden that's keeping them from the joy and peace that God promises all of us. You can be like Jesus to that person. That's why we're saying this today. Every day I reflect Jesus to others. We can reflect Jesus by doing what he did. Step into their world Ask them about what they're going through and set aside a part of your life so that you can focus on serving them. Remind them how much Jesus loves them and cares for them. He's ready to fix their mess, just like he fixed yours.